Um, okay. So yesterday we gave one perspective from the from Rebbe Ben Bachaye, the Nitziv, um, and then developed a, uh, and developed it a bit from the Gemara on uh, one insight into Asher Nasi Yechata is that while an individual we think might sin, probably will sin, that's life. A leader, it's just part of the job description. You need to make a mistake. It's just going to happen. Deal. Um, the second perspective that I want to talk about is from the Gemara. And for those guys who are learning Huriot, this is a line on Huriot, Dav Yud, Amad Beis, which we'll get to a bit later. And the Gemara tells you as follows. Tanar Abanan, Asher Nasi Yecheta. So the Gemara reads this as a... Uh, they make a drush on it. And they say, read Asher as if it was Ashrei. Amar Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, Ashrei hador she nasi shelo mevi karban ashigagato. Lucky or praiseworthy is the generation that its leader has to bring a karban for his mistake. Im nasi shelo mevi karban tzarech atalo lomar mau hediot. Because if the people see that the leader brings a carbon, he owns up to his mistakes, so then they'll understand that obviously a private individual, right? Meaning, right, there is a tendency sometimes amongst leaders to feel that they're above the law. And if a leader will bring his unique carbon, will publicly go out and say he made a mistake, an egregious mistake, right? This isn't a little mistake. This is a mistake for which Bishogig Bichayev, Bimezi would be Chayev Misa or Chayev Kares. And here Bishogig, he violated, he admits he made a mistake and he owns up to it and brings a carbon that will change the entire attitude of the people. Um, so what I want to do is just try to shed light a little bit on this understanding of Chazal. What exactly are they uh, getting at? So Rashi just says, Al Torah, not on the Gemara, Lashon Ashrei. Asher we read as Ashrei. Ashrei Ador Shehanasi Shelo Notein Leiv. Lavi Kabaral Shigato. Praise the, the, the generation that pays attention and will even own up to his accidental mistakes. Kalva Chomash with Charid al-Zidon Otav, he said it's more than that. It's, right, there's one thing is that it'll teach the people. The other thing is that you know that if you have a leader who's willing to own up to his accidental mistakes, so then if he really does something on purpose, he will, he'll own up to it. <coughs> the, um, the Rambam um, I think adds another perspective to this which is the Rambam in the Hakdama Ta'avot notes that what comes what Mesechta does Horiot come after? Sanhedrin. So in ours, yes. But in the Mishnah, that's actually not what the Ramam had. The Ramam had, it came after a vote. In the Gemara, it comes after. But the Ramam had that it came after a vote. And he said, why? So he writes as follows, Kashir Kamar, Gamar Divreya Musar Ladayanim, Diber Al Shigigatam. The Fisha Mitivoshal Adamo Yubatesh Lechtav, Lachin Kavar Yorachar Avot. He said, right, this, is, this idea is a broader perspective. Because this focus on, on judges having to recognize their mistakes is so fundamental that we put hurry out after a vote. Because this theme, which the Gemara is picking up on, that even leaders should, should own up to their mistakes, that is like fundamental to the end of Nazikin. So we have a vote, which is primarily directed at Dayanim. Not exclusively, but if you think about it, the first Mishnah is at Dayanim. Right, the first Mishnah of Avot is. Oh, come on, people. Moshe kibel Torah misinai, umesara liyoshua v'yeshua l'skenim l'skenim l'vene v'yim v'yim mesur l'anshei kineset agdola heim amru shloshad varim have a metunim badin. Be patient in judgment. 
Vahamidu Talmidim Harpe have a lot of students, Vasu Syagla Torah, and make safeguards for the Torah, meaning Avot is also like the what the Rambam is telling you, this theme that leaders have to recognize that they can make mistakes and owed up to them is like an organizing principle in Nezikin. That you have a Masech that dedicated primarily to teaching them Musr. And after you teach them Musr, you say, and by the way, you still might make mistakes. And when you do, this is how you own up to it. Um, now, an interesting point to note here is what the Be'er Sheva notes. And he says, okay, I'm a little bit confused though. Why do we say, Vimdomar lama tala ha'usher bador v'lo benasiyat smo shrei dor lo k'tiv v'lo remiza b'kra. He said, I, I don't understand. Why do we praise the generation that has such a leader and not the leader? Right? Where where's this drasha come from? So he answers, V'yesh lomar l'fi she'en sh'ayach l'tzloda osher b'nasiyat smo lomar ashrei anasishu mevi karbana shigato. Mishum dechtiv gam below da nefesh lo tov. He said, well maybe it's not good for you to sin. <laughs> you can't say that the leader is lucky. V'lachein ena osher mitzad atzmo l'mitzad ma sh'yimshoch l'dor ha-manhig mimenu sh'yilmadu kavachom menu l'argish l'achei l'ashu b'tshuva. On a personal level, maybe in fact it isn't so great. But the educational message for the people is indeed great. That's his first possibility. Said alternatively, the role of the Nasi and the Kohen Gadol. Um, is that they are supposed to be help be mechaper for the people, minimin balel for them. So they are lucky, right? If their leader doesn't own up to it, they will face the consequences because our leaders are part of our uh, representation before God. That's his second possibility. The Yad David comments in the Be'er Sheva, and he says, "I have a different answer." He says the exact opposite of the Be'er Sheva. He says, what are you talking about? Of course it is praiseworthy. And the, the leader who's willing to subdue himself to God and to quash his pride and brings a karban, obviously he's pra- praiseworthy. The Chiddush is that it's even good for the people. Right, you might have thought that, look, on a personal level, it's good if he sins and he does tshuva. But for the people, that's terrible. Right, you have your Godel Ador, you have David HaMelech, and he commits adultery. Right? None of us are, right? that's not a great thing. You might have thought, okay, he does tshuva, that's great. But what did it do to the nation? The Chiddush is that, no, the potential that a leader has to educate people if he owns up to his sins, is a potential that no one else has. He says, uh, or you might have thought that maybe he should dafka sin, right, so that he can then, you know, repent. He says, no, 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 that, that we don't want. If it happens, it's good. I won't focus on that one, but I think what the Gemara is getting at, right, is that the the institution that we have is really quite unique, right? The fact that in many cultures the leader is it, definitely in the ancient world was viewed as somewhat divine and couldn't make mistakes because what he said was right, and the Torah goes to the opposite extreme and institutes a special carbon which Dafka focuses on what happens when a leader makes a mistake and how he can own up to it, right, points to the unique, th- the unique theology of the Torah and the role of a leader. And if you have somebody who owns up to it and recognizes that the, the whole theory of the Torah is that no human being is above the law and no one is perfect, if a leader actually internalizes that and brings a carbon and takes advantage of this unique kapar opportunity the Torah gives him, the educational possibilities and what that teaches people 
about how important it is for everybody, no matter who you are, to own up to your sins, right? that really does shed light on the unique theology of the Torah. And I think that's what the Gemara is picking up on. And the, for the Rambam, the fact that all of Masech Horiot, which is three pakim about a case in which the Sanhedrin Agadol makes a mistake in Psach, a case in which the Kohen Gadol makes a mistake, and a case in which the king makes a mistake. Right? That every leader, religious, political, spiritual, everything, that they're all capable of making mistakes and they all have different ways that they have to own up to it. Right? That emerges as a fundamental philosophical point that the Torah wants to make. And if, again, the leaders are actually willing to own up to it, that really can help uh, entrench that lesson in the, the mindset of the people. Okay, we'll pick up with Amad Yomi for the Amad Yomi guys in five minutes.